Hi, my name is Ross Patterson. I'm one of the leaders of Field Partner International. If you haven't uh, had a look already, please do that. Uh, www.fieldpartner, one word, dot org. I just want to take a couple of minutes of your time, or maybe a little bit longer, to talk about a series I've just recorded and we're releasing on the Field Partner platform on the Antioch Church. It, now, let me immediately say it's not a history series. It's an incredibly relevant and important series. Would you allow me, if you know me, you know I'm not this kind of guy, but would you allow me to say uh, God has used this message significantly? I've had Bible schools say it's required reading in the book form. I've had people pinch the message and teach it. I've recorded it in Chinese and had... Uh, in effect, a church in China named after this, be not because of me or whatever, because of the message in it. And here is the message. Let me put it in terms of a question. Why was Paul, did Paul come to faith in Jesus Christ in Damascus, not in Jerusalem? Why was Paul sent out on those amazing missionary journeys that actually changed the face of Christianity. Why did all of that happen from Antioch and not from Jerusalem? The answer is very simple, because Jerusalem seemed to be unable to reach out beyond its own ethnic group. And the message of the Antioch factor of, of this series of five talks is simple. It's saying now in our generation that God is looking for those who will take seriously what we call the Great Commission. That is the challenge of Jesus to reach the lost outside of our own ethnic group. That's why we talk about cross-cultural work. C.S. Lewis said Jesus was a transcendental interferer who intrudes, disturbs, and exposes the truth about us. Well, uh, in a minor, minor way, I'd like to be an interferer. Because the heart of God, East and West, is to raise up those who go to the lost and share the gospel with them. So in, the, uh, in this five 30-minute series, I take you through the early chapters of Acts. What happened in those chapters? Why did Antioch miss it? Why did God have to work through, uh, sorry, Jerusalem miss it? Why did God have to work through the Antioch church? Why did God use Paul as one born out of time and not one of the Jerusalem apostles, amazing men that they were? And then uh, in the last two talks, I look at what it takes to build an Antioch church. See, Antioch churches don't just grow on trees. Antioch churches happen because we put things by the grace of God in place that make them happen. I, I really believe this is an important message. We want you to have a chance to hear not just the Antioch message, but all the other teachings we're putting up on the Field Partner platform. Uh, have a look, incidentally, at our uh, Facebook uh, page as well, the Field Partner Facebook page. We want you to have a chance to consider carefully. See, I went through most of my life at university, first six years as a Christian, without any interest at all in mission. It, it never occurred to me for a moment that God might want, want me to be involved in cross-cultural mission because I'm probably as many of you as many of you were. I just didn't feel it was relevant to me. Actually now, at the age of 74, I've spent almost 50 years, one way or another, on the mission field, and I don't regret it at all. So, uh, who is it for then? It's for churches, it's for pastors, it's for elders, it's for ordinary believers in churches to know that this is something God wants you to be involved in, whether that means going or praying or supporting or whatever. It's for those who are getting involved in mission that... Um, uh, it would help you, strengthen you, inform you, encourage you on the way. It's for those ordinary believers, if there is such a thing, who says, 
mission. And I, I thought that was reaching to the high school round the corner. Uh, yes, it is, but it's also reaching to the nation. So, all of these things. Um, go to the Field Partner website, uh, www.fieldpartner.org. Go to our Facebook page and have a look at the first one. Again, it's it's not a comedy act. It's it's not a uh, a, uh, a light-hearted thing. It, it's serious study from the Word of God. But uh, I believe, honestly, it can change your life uh, one way or the other. So, uh, that's all I want to say. Uh, have a look and see what you feel. Thanks.